to the show Dance, flirt, play in the X Club Your fantasies in the X Club Dance, flirt, play in the X Club Your fantasies in the X Club More to say, we're going to have episode two coming up where we're going to go around, we're going to interview some of the uh, vendors, we're going to show you some really cool things Thanks. that are going on here. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Hey guys, here we are with uh, Sex Doll Canada uh, with uh, Jack. Jack, uh, thanks for having us. We're from the X Club. Uh, we're going around just talking to a couple of different vendors, vendors that we are very curious to learn more about. And this one I'm curious about. Yeah. This so, is interesting. Like I, said, I, want, I want, if you could give us and our audience a little bit of a perspective on what sex doll is. Oh, okay, folks, let me tell you. Sex dolls are the future of male <laughs> masturbation. As you can see behind us here, we have on display four of our finest sex dolls, ranging from your basic sex doll to a more premium silicone doll. Folks, these are not just masturbators, these are companion pieces. This is something you're going to want in your bed to cuddle next to at night to whisper sweet nothings into. Uh, we've got a silicone doll here full of nice uh, detailing. She's got little veins on her hands. Can I touch her? Absolutely, go ahead. Oh. We've got a robot doll over yonder who can actually speak oh, wow. to you. She has that, an wow. intelligent AI in her head and she'll talk to you. She'll learn your name. She responds to uh, sexy simulation. Uh, a good thing to keep around the house. This is very interesting. Hey, how does they feel? How does, how does it feel? Uh, uh, yeah, a little... It feels like way. flesh, yeah. It feels like a person. Yeah. Well, I mean... Oh, you gotta... You're yeah, being, you're, you're being so gentle. Go. You're being so... I mean, really, like, get in there. <laughs> Actually, yeah. yeah. Right, look. <laughs> that's that's good. No, like, it seriously, that's amazing. Right. That is amazing. Exactly. It, it, there's like a lot of like realistic weight behind it. Okay, now I gotta touch these ones. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. And like, I mean, come on. <laughs> Babe, we need, a, we need a girlfriend. Oh. I know, like, I know one of these dolls blinked at me yesterday. That one there, yeah. yeah. There's different features there, different automations they do. You got like, it, you got it. So on any sex doll, you can add a heating element or moaning element. A heating? Did you say heating? Uh, heating. You can have it self-heat itself. Uh, so, you know, you maybe don't want to put, like, a warming wand, like, up a sex doll's vagina every time you're, like, trying to get in the mood. You just put on her heating element. Boom, she's done for you in two minutes. Wow. Uh, moaning system. You grab her titties. Oh, she's going to moan. She loves it. But we even have robot dolls. We have a specialized vendor, AI Tech, who goes in uh, and they add robotics to their sex dolls. Still fully functional, still great sex dolls, but they'll move around, they'll talk to this you. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Very interesting. Yeah. Cool. I, All right. I, I, I think that's, okay, so this is my like little spiel. You get a male masturbator, male masturbators are fine. You get your tenga, you get your, you know, uh, pocket pussy, your pocket pussy, yeah. your flesh yeah, yeah. Those things are all great and they work fine. However, these things are so much realistic weight behind them. Uh, you get more of like a visual aspect, which a lot of gentlemen, you know, need every now and again. Uh, I, I, I think it helps a lot in, uh, in getting uh, the arousal going. So it's amazing. Full, full disclosure, Please. I do own a pocket pussy. <laughs> Not, not, not to demean the pocket uh, pussy. <laughs> but I don't use it often because I cannot stand the cleanup. Yes, It absolutely. takes away from the whole experience. Absolutely. So what does that entail for now? You're having full A body. Size. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot easier than you would think. So when you clean up a sex doll, you really only need to give it like a full clean every one or two months. It doesn't get dirty very easily. It's very hard to like mess up. Uh, you basically just stick an irrigator up there, you flush her out, two minutes, that's it. Yeah. Now I know you also keep saying for the male masturbation, I see there's another guy over there. Oh yeah. So is it really only for the male? It's not just for the male. Let's go over here. Now, please like follow, please follow. Okay. So for people who might prefer uh, the penile aspect of masturbation, we have our beautiful George. Now George comes in many different styles, many different colors. This George specifically has implanted hair, a steely gaze, a little bit of stubble, and some nice chest hair. Really gives also, you a full vaginal feeling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pubic hair. <laughs> but more importantly, George has a thick, full, hard cock. 
George can fuck. Is the, is the penile area interchangeable? Oh, Upgradable. Absolutely. absolutely. Upgradable. Yeah, George comes with uh, five different penis sizes. You got your uh, your flaccid pull. You just want them kind of hanging out. Uh, Seriously? Yeah, you can oh. get a totally flaccid George. Uh, this one, I believe, is a seven and a half inch variety, but it goes all the way up to 12 inches. Does it vibrate? It does not vibrate. Could you get it to vibrate? Uh, I mean, if you put, put it underneath pocket. like a vibrating item, you yeah. can get it to vibrate. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But it's static. It's right. more for uh, for visual stimulation yeah. and riding pleasure. Okay. Yeah. This has been absolutely so interesting and so amazing. Thank you so much for giving us your time Thanks and so showing us your dolls. It's, it's appreciate really amazing. appreciate it, guys. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Right. Thank you. All right, we are at our next booth, and I'm so excited to actually introduce you to Eugenia. Eugenia yes. from Spirit Sex Club, and I'm an energy therapist and sexuality guide. She has been to the X Club doing uh, guided tours and yeah. seminars, or I think it was an orgasm seminar. I was teaching time. an energy orgasm seminar, and this I'll woman. be teaching it yeah. soon as Okay, well. great. Tell, tell them about your what you do. Oh my goodness, well, it's a combination of sensuality and pleasure, personal growth, releasing blockages, releasing shame, and I love what you guys do at the X Club yeah. and all the wonderful parties. I bring a lot of newbies in and they just absolutely love it. So thank you so much. Yeah, we love having you. Thank you always, so there's much. always good energy when you come into the Aww, club. Oh, so. thank yeah. you. And you're teaching a seminar here I'm at I'm teaching Expo. here today at 2.30 and 10.30 p.m. So if you guys want to join Energy Orgasms Relationship Spice, we'd love to see you there. Babe, 2.30. Uh, and 1030. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and 1030, okay. exactly. The booth 522 if you guys want to check it out. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank I'll be back at the club soon. Thank okay. you. Okay. M4's Dungeon Exhibit, our very, very good friends, Brad yes. and Cherry Levichow. Hello, hey, how are you? Hi, Darren, how are you? I'm good, Cherry. Hi, how are Christa. you? Hi, lovey. <laughs> so, guys, um, like, we're just Tell us around. what you do. Tell us all about this. It, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, what don't we do? <laughs> yeah. That might be a shorter one. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, we primarily do a lot of impact play. So, I would tie Bradley up to the cross, I would use some rope, and I would do some flogging. And I would do some spanking with the paddles that you have over here as well. I could <laughs> do some flogging. Wasn't we, it we, just his birthday? Shouldn't we be it doing was his birthday, birthday spanking? It birthday was his spanking. birthday. So we vlog, we do spanking, we do restraints. You were looking at the yes, chastity page. Yes, let's talk page. about Locktober. Locktober. Right. Locktober. It's, it's Locktober. I've never heard of this. So you've never heard of Locktober. No. You, you may not have wanted to hear about this. <laughs> so men, primarily, and women, can go into a chastity cage and it's orgasm control. So it's Locktober right now. The cock and balls go in there and then I hold the key. That's what happened. It's called Locktober. I have them holding five keys right now. We're getting, yes. You're currently holding five keys. Five keys, yes. Wow. Absolutely, absolutely. Five keys, so control, so they so cannot. So like you can't even get a heart on. No, that's and the point. We, that's the point. So and nothing, we, no arousal. Nope. nope, no arousal. Now, when uh, the, the, these, the five keys that you hold, the, when do you, it's all on you if you want to give them a release or not. Or That's right, and they're, the idea with Locktober is that they're in, and they're in until November 1st. They come back, they get out of their cage, they can have an yeah. orgasm, so yes. Wow. It's called Nut November. Yeah, it's called Nut November. <laughs> not nut, November, that's nut, that. Nut November, nut November. that's awesome. right. That is amazing. <laughs> um, so that's chastity, and we do like, we do sensory death, right, with blindfolds. Riley oh. has, oh, he has his, his XO blindfold on. <laughs> we always love, we always love when you guys come to the club. Uh, we, I know I learn something from you every time oh, you're at the club. So Even just like going that. into the dungeon and just watching, it's oh, it's nice. sexy, it's fun, educational for uh, especially for us. That's yeah, so, yeah great. so good. Well, well that's what that. we want because it is sexy. But plus, it's, you guys are our friends, and I love you. Today, so <laughs> we it's love it's you. Well, we love you guys too. Yeah. Even our camera girl, I'll throw them under the bus. They uh, they were talking about how she likes the waxing and she's interested <laughs> in that. And I was oh. telling them, I told them about the, the wax right. display that you guys did for us our last event. That's right. You know, so that was great. Yeah. Sensory wax, it's not that hot, it's lovely, right? It is. You were in your lovely little panties. Oh, that was, yeah. Purple night. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was a great, yeah. 
Yeah. Excellent. Aww. Lots of great theme nights. Right. Absolutely. Wow. Thank you so much Thank for being you. a part of this and showing us. Uh, we love us. you guys. Yeah. We love X-Pop. We really appreciate it. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Aroma. We're here with Bridget. She's the owner of the company. Tell us about your product. This is amazing. So what we did is we decided to create a product that was fun that could go anywhere on the body. Um, I like so it. So what it is is it's a massage candle made out of coconut and soy and we flavored it. So it can literally get in all those private areas. You don't need to worry about it. Okay. You can keep having the fun after the massage. You don't have to get up, clean it up in yeah. the bathroom. Just keep going. It smells so good. Too. Well, and we make eight different scents. Right? Okay. Yeah. What kind of scents do you have going so here? So we've got After Eight, which is um, chocolate and mint. Yes. Okay. Yes. Everybody loves those. Yes. Cherry Kisses. Uh, we've got Coconut Temptation, always a fun one. We've got Tickle Me Peach, Raspberry Porn Star for those really exotic ones. Strawberries and Whipped Cream, because who doesn't like that? Sugar Mama, which is like a cotton candy. And the last one is Keep It Vanilla. Hot Mess. So, that's the Hot Mess line. So Amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for coming by here. Pleasure meeting you guys. All right, we are here at European Lingerie booth at the Taboo Expo. This is where I got my lovely shirt. I love this. You have so many great items here. Thank this you. is Dawn. Hi. Tell us about your store. Uh, well, this is European Lingerie. It's run by Martin and Bertina, and they have so many amazing products. I actually used to be the Taboo Angel, so I used to help produce the show, and for a decade, they dressed me in their European Lingerie. Amazing. So when COVID hit, and they needed an extra hand, and events weren't happening, I came on with Martin and Bertina, because I love their products. I always feel like a little hottie in their clothes. You are, you are a hottie. And <laughs> our booth is so inclusive, you guys. I love it, because we are all about all everybody like so inclusive we have clothes for for women men trans folks uh, people of all shapes we have everything from double x to small to 6x and all that we care about here we're not focused on sales we're 100 percent about making you feel better than when you walked in the booth so i hope everybody comes to visit us here look how amazing crystal looks total hottie i love it so yeah come on down to the taboo show come visit us come buy some erotic art from our booth we have lots of fun stuff here. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, that concludes our tour of the uh, Taboo Sexpo. We've had a great time. A lot of different vendors here to check out. Also, come and check out the X Club. We're happy to have you. All right, baby, get on it. Let's go. I can get used to this.